Hey guys, welcome back to Rick's Motorsports. Today we are messing with the rear trailing arms that I was cleaning up the other day. As you can see behind me, we have a press. This one is a 20 ton shop press that we got from Harbor Freight. And we're gonna be pressing out these bushings and we have some new ones that will go back in. They're not out here, but I'll show you when we do that. Yeah, so we got these collars to press out bushings. It'll just sit like that. We have this piece of steel that'll go on top, and I'll press it out. Just so like that. There's one side. Yahtzee. There she goes. We're gonna be smarter this time. Have something to catch it. Maybe. I'd watch your feet. I'm saving the Honda. Fuck <laughs> <Like> the Mustang. <laughs> nice. All right, so it's a new day, and after we pressed out those bushings on the trailing arms, we got the trailing arms and the shield resprayed. And I'm not sure if I filmed it, but we got the new bushings pressed in. You unbend if you need to. Like this. Hmm. Hmm. I just want to make sure this nut doesn't come off. Auto Zone special for now. Not getting anything too expensive at the moment. Maybe later down the line we'll upgrade the brakes significantly. It's just the back for now. Yep. Got the rotor on, about to put this screw in. Actually, I wanna wire brush this real quick. Yeah, that's what the uh, screw look looks like after like 10 seconds on the wire wheel. Sworn it. Yeah. Black 
like a good skateboard bear. Yeah. Here's the calipers. I just sprayed them down really, or uh, wire brushed them really quick. I'm gonna spray them with some spray paint till we get some new ones. All right, so right now we're working on the Civic and we got the Civic up on jack stands. And as you can see, we have the rear trailing arm taken off. That's the new one that we're putting in. This is the old one. It's quite the improvement. Yeah. So right now, I'm grabbing the e-brake. Oh, and it actually comes with its own boot for inside. That's nice. And I'm going to run this from underneath and just push it through the floorboard. And then Bo is going to just pull it through and we'll let it sit there. And then I'm going to put these brackets in place, screw them in. We have the bolts that I took off with the old e-brake. And then after I do this, I'm going to put some brackets on the lower or on the trailing arm, the new one, and get that ready to be thrown on the car. Here's the wheel well. The trailing arm's taken off. That's the brake line. We just have that clamped off. Lower control arm is pretty beat. Same with the bushings. So I ordered an OEM one just until we get stock or uh, aftermarket ones. And I'm gonna throw that OEM one on when it gets here tomorrow. And then we can throw that on. And then I'll get all the shit put on there. And then we can get started on the other side. Hey guys. So right now I am working on the disc brakes or at least the disc brake conversion. I don't know if you can see that. So today's a new day and I'm gonna be taking off that LCA, the rusted piece of crap. And I'm gonna be putting this OEM one on just until we get some aftermarkets. From there, I'm gonna try to get the trailing arm put on, hopefully, and then put the caliper on maybe but then go from there, put the e-brake on. I'm trying to get this done before uh, Sunday, I think, because that's when Honda I or import face-off is. So, yeah. This is really close to the gas tank, so that's why I'm hesitant to use the torch. And I mean, there's no leaks in the gas tank or anything, but still, that's, sketchy as hell. That's why I was torching this side earlier and not the other side where the threads actually are. I'll go ahead and t I'll torch the other side. I'll be careful not to get the gas tank. I don't have any like metal to block it or anything and I don't want to put cardboard there because that'll catch on fire. So I'm just going to be careful not to burn anything. is getting awfully low on gas I mean I'm gonna have to get a new bottle soon I'm trying to keep it closer to the the nut than the gas for some reason my batteries for my DeWalt tool didn't charge it just stayed on one bar overnight I hope I didn't roast them when I was using the sawzall. Alright, I see smoking. So now I'm gonna try ugh, to get them off. Put you out of the way. There we go. He always does the trick. Yeah. 
Oh. That's pretty grody. Yeah. It's a good reason why it was so hard to take out. That's what she said. That one's not as bad. They're not as bad because they haven't been in as long. So we took them out when we put these in. So now it should just fall out, but we need to smack it. That's how you take a LCA out. There's the new LCA. So, after using the wire wheel for a couple of minutes. Oh, opposite. Opposites. This is what it looks like. So just a couple of minutes can make bolts look really good on a wire wheel. And it'll help <clears throat> when screwing them in. put on that last one and then this will be fully on do you want to tell the folks what oh done? hi I didn't even notice the camera oh hi didn't see you there <laughs> hey Bella um, took off the old trailing arm with the drum brake as I showed earlier and switched over this mount that we took off when we got these trailing arms from the junkyard and then I reused the mount that's over here that you can't really see. I reused that, that was already on there. And then I just gotta put that bolt on, put these two in from this bushing, and then this is fully on. Then I'll put the caliper on. We can put on the new hoses that we got from AutoZone because we're just gonna use some regular ones. Um, I'll tighten this up, these two, brake line. Oh, and then the e-brake right here get that hooked up it's already ran through the car I just got to hook it up to the caliper once I throw that on all right so after days of torture and pain and hardship and loss blood sweat and tears blood sweat and tears some farts we got the Civic done we have bolt trailing arms on we have bolt brakes split I am super happy and those calipers and rotors are just temporary until we get some better ones. Show the other side. But they do look pretty good. Right now I just have this last dust cover to put on. It was for the ABS that was on the car that had these trailing arms before it. But this car doesn't have ABS. But I'm still going to cover it to prevent dust or brake dust. So it'll keep the bearings uh, nice and fresh for a while. And you can tell by Chance's shirt that he has been putting in work. That's how he's looked lost like week after. You should see my other shirts. Yeah, yesterday was even worse. Oh, yeah, back shot. One armpit shot? Yeah, nice. That's just pit sweat though. Just pit sweat. So, on this car we had a lot of troubles. We had so many rusted bolts and nuts and everything that they would either spin on the nut or the nut would break free of like some subframe on the car or some shit like that. And we just couldn't get it off. So we had to cut it or it was spinning inside the bushing or the bushing was spinning inside itself. So this car apparently saw rock salt wherever it was before we had it. And 
this was our first car that we got for like a project. So next time we'll check for that. But we finally got everything done. Pretty much everything on this car has been touched now. So hopefully in the future, if we upgrade shit, we'll be able to actually get stuff on and off really easily. I think that's gonna do it for the end of the video. Uh, we're pretty stoked about the disc brake conversion on the back. We've been meaning to do that for quite some time. Chance and Dad put in quite a bit of work, especially uh, Chance on that. He looked like a grease monkey every day when he came in. Uh, definitely put in some work. Currently, as you saw in that last clip where no one was talking, we're bleeding the cooling system. Because our dad's gonna take it our dad's gonna take it to work tomorrow. It's supposed to be 85 degrees, and uh, it stays cool for the most part, but it's had a history in the past of liking to get hot, so we just wanna make sure everything is uh, squared away properly before he takes it on the like 50 minute round trip drive to work in traffic on the way home. So we'll end the clip here with the disc brakes. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching Rick's Motorsports. We really appreciate it. All the subscribers we're getting. We know we don't have a ton, obviously, but the ones we are getting, we really do appreciate. They're starting to roll in a little bit faster now, which is cool, and getting more comments on the videos, getting quite a few views every day. Which all that stuff's really appreciated. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. Uh, you'll get notified on our videos, which is really helpful for us guys. Riggs Motorsports, out.